Hi, I'm Mike from Scout Dalek. Now then, it's Christmas time, tons of cool different activities and also for fundraising as well. Um, I had the opportunity to have not only my second co-host become my 95th co-host and she taught me how to make a really cool origami envelope just using card and it's a really fun idea that you can do together but also you can turn it into stuffing in sweets so that you can fundraise and sell them on as well. So here's how we got on and how we made it. So hopefully we're going to be learning how to create our very own little envelopes out of any type of paper, magazine, newspaper and these can be used for all sorts of things. I use them for um, storing seeds that I've collected and grown in the garden and giving to people yeah. which is really nice um, but you can use them from all sorts, letters, gifts, anything that can fit in this okay. little envelope. So what do we need first of all? So first of all, we need some paper of some sort. So that can be anything, any thickness, any mm -hmm. colour, any... I use some old magazines and okay. we need to put it into a square. A square. So we are going to do yeah. some origami and origami always starts with squared paper. So so I'm guessing then you want the, the nicer picture on the outside and then the picture that you don't want on the inside. Yeah. Is that so right? Yeah, so we've got... I want this lovely picture of a sunflower and a bee on the outside, whereas even though this is quite interesting, it's not as pretty as the one on the outside. So whenever you're doing origami for this particular one, place the picture on the table mm -hmm. um, facing down. Okay. Um, and then off. Okay, so I've got my sheet of square paper here. You've already done the first bit, Mike. So you kind of made it easier for yourself because you've done that first fold. But for those that haven't and have just got a square piece of paper, mm -hmm. we're going to take the bottom point to mm -hmm. the top. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to smooth and crease that bottom. So I'm going to okay. do this on my table. So I've got a hard surface. So we should have a triangle like that. Yep. Okay, so again, you can decide which way you want it to go. So mm -hmm. I'm wanting the um, the B to be on the, the back. So this is your back. So we're going to turn it round. Oh, okay, okay. And yeah. then what we're going to do, we're going to move, take this point to roughly about a third down mm -hmm. but to make it look like it's in a straight line there. Right, oh, okay. Right, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a bit like... That's like that, yeah. yeah so I'll okay. do it again on, on here. It doesn't matter which side you do first. So we're going to kind of push it along to make that flat edge, and then we're going to crease down here. Okay, so it looks like a little arm. And with with all origami, we're going to do the same with the other corner here. So this oh, okay. corner should align here oh, right, and okay. produce a straight line at the top so again we're taking this corner to that one to create that straight line so we'll like fold. that then yeah so yeah so it just looks like two arms that are folded over what we're then going to do we've got two folds and, and at the top haven't we've got two little yeah. openings there yeah we now need to do some tucking okay so if you look here on that top arm, it opens up into a little, it opens up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do first to make the fold easier, mm -hmm. I'm just going to create a crease by hold, folding that down and then, okay. you know, making that crease line there. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so that gives us an anchor point. Yeah. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to tuck it down that first Okay. Uh, the top right. arm. Okay. Yeah. But it might be that you need to open it up a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Okay. I'm impressed with that already. <laughs> Fabulous. Let's hope mine worked out the same. Brilliant. So it's nice and neatly tucked in. So if you can see now, it creates that safe opening here. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing you need to do is to create the envelope lid which again, we're folding this down yeah. along the line. So you can then see we've got our little envelope there. And if you open it up, you've got the two-tone. Ah, 
I like that. I think that's okay. nice. That's really cool for, um, especially Christmas coming up as well. Um, like sort of doing little Christmas like parcels and Christmas yeah. presents. So the the last the next bit that we need to do is once you've got everything in, how do we then seal it? So I use um, labels, sticky labels, mm -hmm. like this, cut in half because these are a little bit wide. So okay. if I do that that there, so you, is this too big? Is it bigger than your envelope? Just about. <laughs> <laughs> so always measure the size of your sticker you're going to use before right, you put okay. your paper. But ideally, yes. So you mean I could actually? Yes, uh, that's much better. Uh, fabulous. Well, I use, prepared. <laughs> I use plain um, labels because I'm using them for seeds and I'll write on the ah, seed name on it. Nice, okay. So a little bit like that one, I've got the sticker here. It hasn't got the name on it, but this has. Right. You can hear. No. Okay, it's got seeds in it. <laughs> You're like this. It's like me going, listen to the seeds. <laughs> oh, wow. And then, there we go. Oh. And then... Yep, it sticks it down for you. Oh, that is absolutely ace. I think that's amazing. That's that is brilliant. I didn't. I'm now thinking of all the like sort of the wrapping paper that I've got upstairs that I could actually do this with. Yeah, mm. if you didn't have stickers and you had a little bit of, of glue, a little bit of um, kind of yeah, just you can glue the edges down if you wanted it a little bit more secure. Oh, nice. Okay. I think that's nice. I think that's absolutely fantastic. That's, that's, that's seven years in the making, that is. <laughs> <laughs> but the beauty oh. of this is you're kind of making it to give to somebody else to kind of pass that friendship over and, you know, your love to, to other people, which is lovely, no matter how big or how small. And as I say, you can make even, like, the cutest... The cutest nice. of little ones as well. If you like that video, then don't forget to obviously give it a thumbs up and share it around. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Bye!